Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, my special LHM tribe. Wow. This is not just another day. This is a special day, right? We Christians the world over commemorate the birth of Christ today. Now, I don't go into the dynamics and gymnastics of whether it is scientifically proven that it was on this day or it was not on this day and all of that. Those are all distractions of the enemy, right? And, well, it's been a tradition for so long, so we are not the ones who are going to stop that tradition. Above all, it's in the heart that you celebrate. So you could celebrate all year round, not necessarily on this day or not only on this day. But it's been on this day and everybody, look, it is so special that even people who don't believe in Christ celebrate on this day. <clears throat> I used to find it so funny that they say Xmas or they say happy season, happy holiday, something like that. So what are you celebrating? Okay, well, just a free day. But you know, when it's some other people's kind of holidays, add something and stuff, they try to remember the exact appellation for the feast and then they wish them that happy feast. But when it comes to Christmas or to Easter, well, it's like, I, I respect you. I'm going to wish you the holiday with a name, even if I don't believe in that holiday. But not to say Xmas, like X. So I just want to, to talk to my tribe from my heart today and um, say, please, let's put Christ in front. I'll put you in front of in front of my melody you are all the mothers you are all the mothers i'll make room for two you and me jesus you are all the mothers you are all the mothers oh hey, oh hey. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. You are all that matters. Oh, hey, oh, hey. You are all that matters. Especially on this day. And every other day. But let's. Focus on this day, Christmas. That's the name. Christmas, Christ and Mass. Look, let's not take Christ out of that word. No. Because Christ is the, 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 the major part of the word. So that is the person, that is the that is the divinity that gives that whole word any meaning. What are we celebrating then? Why is it a holiday? Why? People who don't believe in Christ, they don't celebrate this day, or they shouldn't. Or maybe they should uh, out of solidarity or compassion with their Christian friends. I don't know. But if you are a Christian, and yes, you believe in Christ, and you are celebrating on this day, please don't take Christ out of the equation. That means don't leave Christ in church when you go to church. Or if you are going to pray and worship at home, not everybody is going to go to church today. So it's not automatic. But don't leave Christ there. And after you go and eat and drink to stupor, and then you don't even remember what it was all about. Secondly, make sure you and that Christ even have that kind of relationship where you'll be like talking to him, say, hey, oh boy, this is your birthday. Oh, ah, happy birthday, Sha. Okay, so what are we doing today or next year? What was the program? Stuff like that. Have it. Oh my goodness. And number three, let his light so shine in you so that when the other people will see, then they will know that true, 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 true. You know, I'm just quoting the Bible, just paraphrasing the thing. But that is it. Let his light so, his light so shine in you. And not only today. So it cannot be like yesterday you were out the whole night drinking party got into a fight blah 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 blah. then you come today you know some people they can function 24 hours no sleep so you shower la 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 and then you're on your way to church and after church you are going straight to enjoy and everything people will even look at you your eyes will be trade will be so red you'll be looking tired so people even sleep in church is that how you're letting christ light shine in you 
You know, sometimes we babysit people a lot. We try to be politically correct. Um, we don't want to step on toes and all of that. Me, I don't care. I, if I'm stepping on your toes with what I'm saying, please don't listen. No. Don't shoot the messenger. Get the message or ignore the message. This commission, go make disciples. It's not by force. Not tying a rope on nobody's neck. Nobody tied a rope on my neck. So please, oh, if my message does not please you, it's not con just go you. Seriously, because Jesus himself was not joking. You know, when he and John the Baptist were calling people brood of vipers, hypocrites, hey, was that a joke? Whipping people from the temple, was that a joke? So there's nothing like, ah, I know, don't say like that. You know, uh, Christ was uh, full of love. Yes, but there's that kind of love called tough love. There's that chastisement. You think he whipped those people out of the temple with a bad heart? No, he whipped them out of the temple to show both them and other people, you don't desecrate the house of the Lord like this. You don't come and sell things here. You don't come and do business here. If it's happening today, nah, Papa God, whoa, deal with them. Oh, vengeance belongs to the Lord. But as for me, I'm just going to say it as it is. I keep it real. Because I myself has been so convicted and I know it is true. Sometimes people think like, oh no, well, yeah, God knows. So um, he will understand, um, you know, all of those kind of things and blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. You know, salvation is personal. As much as I kneel down, I pray for my children. I walk up at midnight. I go into their room. I do this and do that. Oh, each person has their soul now. So what am I going to do? Remove my soul, put in your heart, take your own soul, put in my own. Oh, God, and start saying, no, wait, I am the source of my children. Nah. So I make sure that they also listen to what I say. I don't only pray for them. I pray with them. Because that's how I'm bringing them up in the way they should go. So on this day, my focus is take them to church. Pray with them. Let them get it. After church, eh? If we were not invited to somewhere today, get home. Whatever is there you eat, finish. I'm never one for that kind of, you know, exaggerated celebration and spending expenditure. You buy until, I don't know whether you even buy one thing that like that that can even glorify God. You know, maybe the latest shoe, the latest, the latest, that, blah, 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 blah. The tree, I thought that there was a tree in the Bible. I did not even see where there was a tree in the Bible, but well. That's tradition. I mean nothing. People should do what they want to do. You know, all the glam, the light, the this, the that, the that. Ah. So as much as I'm wishing people a Merry Christmas, I'm just keeping it real. Please. Look, there he is there. I, I had to stand here. He's right there over my bed. And I'm going with him. Like, uh -huh, I have a small one in my I have to put it in my bag. It's all about him today. It's all about Jesus. Nothing about Mark. So, Father, come and have your way. Have your way. As much as it is about love and healing, as much as it's about people knowing that when you love them and heal them, they cannot stay the same. They cannot be lukewarm Christians. They cannot be dilly darling. They cannot be all about the fanfare and the noise and the, all of that, the merrymaking without the substance, Father God. They cannot not try their best to live a righteous life and then, well, that they're pointing fingers at one another, gossiping, doing all of those kind of things. And they say, well, you know, you will understand. They have to put you in front, Papa. They have to put you in front. So even this day, the celebration has to be about praise God. So I'm going to church now to praise my God while I'm Papa. Worship him. Because your word says, do not despise the gathering of saints. I thank you where you are leading me, Papa. I thank you and I commend it to you. And I just say, have your way. Touch all those all over the world, especially your servants, Papa. Yes, Papa, your servants are so much on my heart. Because sometimes some will have titles, but will do things will make you wonder, are you doing this conscious of who you are, the title you carry? Are you representing Jesus? Are you an ambassador of Jesus? What are you showing to the other people? And that's why I try my best, Papa, and I'm like, Oh, Papa, thank you. Ah, I cannot tell it all. You've done just so much this year. I just keep remembering them. And I'm like, Father, that whole book will finish. 
receive all our prayers and our intentions. You know the desires of our hearts. You know mine, Papa. You know mine, Papa. Just, just receive the praise and the worship today and the adoration. And let's celebrate together, Daddy. We are just so grateful. I lift it all up to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, once more, have a merry, merry, merry Christmas. And if we've gotten here, God is definitely still saying something about us. We cannot stop. And for those of us, like myself, who have put our hands on the plow, there is no looking back. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back, no turning back, no turning back. Okay, well, have a great celebration. Enjoy yourselves, you know, with moderation, hopefully. And don't forget Christ now. Don't forget Jesus now. Beg, it is birthday, not your own. So please, don't overdo it. <laughs> don't celebrate more than the person who has a birthday and offer him something. You know, if you're going to church today, Thanksgiving, something like that and stuff like that. Okay, well, God bless us all. Until next time, right? This is Minister Matt.